For only the third time in their history, Claremont and Lille squared off as the Liga Uber Eats campaign resumed on Wednesday. The Lancier had gone winless in five successive domestic encounters before the World Cup break and remained tenth on the table after a strong opening to the season. The dog, meanwhile, were only two points behind Lorient and a place in Europe next season as things stood at the start of the match week after losing just once in their previous six top flight games. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it was the top five contenders who asserted their authority on the game in the first half. A mazy run from Edon Grover, opening up a shooting opportunity with a 1-2. Claim one stop at Mori Dio, equal to the low attempt. Quality in the final third was at a premium in the first half, with Angel Gomez's slice shot from the edge of the area when he was afforded plenty of time and space, somewhat summing up the fortunes of both sides. Another chance for the visitors also somehow stayed out by a combination of three Claremont players after a driven volley from the edge of the area. Another Jagrova effort, this one from long range, failed to find the net, whistling past the post. And there are only two previous meetings, each club won on home soil last season. But would it be the hosts who up their game after the break? They certainly showed more intent than they had for the entirety of the first half straight away, carving out a clear cut opportunity with a couple of nice passes. Elbasan Roshani could only fire his effort narrowly over the bar from 12 yards out. And they were made to rue that missed opportunity just moments later as Gomez jinked his way into the box, only for his run to be abruptly halted by Mateus Piatesca. Penalty the decision. Gomez dusted himself off, confidently stepped forward from the spot to fire Lil into the lead with a little over 20 minutes to play. The Englishman's second of the season, already more than he managed last campaign. The visitors look to double their lead. Nice through ball finding Jonathan David back from World Cup duty with Canada. A nice interchange allowing Remy Cabea a shot on goal. That was saved though and Chikrova failed to make the most of the rebound. Clermont suddenly produced a chance somewhat out of nowhere. A bit of head tennis resulting in Mohamed Cham getting the ball in the box. This cross was dealt with by the lost defence. Any chance of a late comeback was stifled in a few eventful stoppage time minutes though. First Maximiliano Cofrier collected a second yellow card and a couple of minutes later the visitors would make the most of their numerical advantage. Substitute Mohamed Bayo's strike finding the net just before the final whistle. No celebration against his former club. Having netted 14 times for Clermont last campaign, the Ghanaian finally gets off the mark for Lille at their 10th attempt, albeit most of those quick cameos. So not a walk in the park for Le Dog, but a solid 2-0 win in the end to keep them within one point of fifth place Monaco. Clermont slumped to a sixth successive winless game and drop into the bottom half.